Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of Voice Radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a Garchomp deck list, which is already winning over in Japan. I told you this Garchomp was going to be good. It has just become legal. And it's already winning over in Japan. Shout out to the lovely Code64X over on Twitter for showing me this deck list. And shout out to the lovely David Hockman who has provided all the translations for the hitherto unreleased cards in this deck. So starting off then, it is all about Garchomp. And I did a video about Garchomp, I'll pop a link in the description. But this Garchomp is amazing. It's a stage 2, but that's not a huge problem anymore. We, we can get stage 2s out. The ability says that if you've got more prize cards remaining than your opponent, your attacks do an extra 80 to the active. Well, that's pretty gosh darn good. And the attack in and of itself for one fighting, one colorless energy does 80 damage. But you can discard one of those energy and it does 120. To put that all together, you can do 200 damage for two energy if you just so happen to be behind on prizes. That's pretty spectacular. Not to mention your typing gives you type advantage over Pikachu and Zekrom, Zoroark, basically the best decks in the format. And you are looking at an absolute powerhouse. The thing that's weird here is that I said, well, you just use Miss Magius. Miss Magius, you KO it, draw till you got seven cards in hand. And I suggested that would be what you would use to get this rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, this deck does not play Miss Magius. There's no Miss Magius in this deck. So how does it actually run? Well, what we do have here is a 2-2 line of Alolan Ninetales. This is how we get Stage 2s out nowadays. When you evolve up into it, you get to search your deck for two item cards and put them in your hand. Plus, it evolves some Alolan Vulpix, which lets you search for any two Pokemon and put them in your hand. And as long as you've got either a Garchomp or an Alolan Ninetales in your hand, or a way to search them, then Alolan Vulpix search for the other two. So you end up with one Alolan Ninetales, two Garchomp. And then Alolan Ninetales gets you the two rare candy. And you're pretty much guaranteed two turn two Garchomp. That's pretty gosh darn good. That's very consistent. But there is another Pokemon here which is absolutely phenomenal for the consistency. And it is Lucario. Now this is the one from Ultra Prism that's got the rather fantastical ability... Which says, once during your turn, if you have Garchomp in play, search your deck for any card and put it into your hand. It's basically computer search every single turn without even having to discard any cards, just so long as you've got a Lucario and a Garchomp. That's pretty redonk, ladies and gentlemen. That's pretty redonk. Now, what is very interesting here is that people thought this was going to be good with the other Garchomp. People thought this was going to be played with the Garchomp from Ultra Prism, which did 200 damage if you've played a Cynthia this turn, but that proved to end up being too expensive and not quite good enough. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's back. And with this Garchomp, it's great. We're going to look at a whole bunch of trainer cards in a moment that we're relying on. Things like Black Belt, which reduces your attack cost by one fighting energy if you're behind on prizes. Meaning that you do 200 for a single energy, which is a bit dumb. Not to mention Fighting Dojo that does 10 extra damage if you've got a basic fighting attached. But 40 extra if you're behind on prizes. Yeah, this really does not mind going down on prizes, this deck. Not at all. And those things can be super easily searched out with Lucario. It's pretty gosh darn amazing. Plus, we've got a whole bunch of special energy we'll look at in a moment. And the point is this. This is a very good deck but it relies on a whole bunch of awkward one-offs, that is where Lucario comes in. There are a couple copies of Tapu Lele just to get yourselves your supporters, which can be quite good. And then we see a bunch of one-off Pokemon. We see a single copy here of Landorus. Yeah, that new Landorus that, well, let, let's just say people weren't particularly kind to that. But one fighting energy, 30 damage to one of your opponent's bench. Now the two energy, 60, and moving energy to one of your bench is fine. But if you've got two energy on, you'd probably rather be attacking with Garchomp. No, one fighting energy, 30 damage to the bench. You don't have great ways to hit the bench in this deck. This does that rather nicely indeed. 
We've actually got one copy of the new Zygarde. Now, this is kind of interesting because the new Zygarde's got an ability, which means that all of your Zygarde do 20 more to your opponent's active Pokemon. But this only plays this one single Zygarde. The ability is useless. But the attack does 20 and attaches an energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. It is in the grand tradition of cards, well, like Evil Tau from back in the day. And you know what? It's good. It gets that energy out in the early game. So you're not relying on Black Bow and you're not relying on being down on prizes. This is quite nice. And then there is a single copy of Stunfisk. Now, I showed you this one the other day. Again, I'll pop links to all these unreleased cards that I've done videos about. I'll pop links in the description. One fighting energy. It's a lightning type, but it attacks for fighting energy. If the opponent's active Pokemon has more HP remaining than this one, you do 60. And there are a few uses for this, but the best one, easy one-hit KO for a single energy on a Zapdos. Simple as that. Zapdos is great, Zapdos is everywhere, this KO Zapdos for a single energy. But Honchko GX does still see some play over in Japan, I've shown you that video lately. I'll try to remember to pop a link to that one in the description as well. But all these videos are very easily found if you just have a quick search around on the channel. And Honchko GX is really quite fun and when it's in the active your opponent cannot play special energy or tools or stadium cards from their hand. But if you're behind on prizes... Fighting Dojo means that Stunfisk actually doesn't do 60, it does 100, which means that all you need to do then is whack a Choice Band on there, and you get a one-hit KO on Honchkrow. Pretty nice. And remember, Fighting Dojo is if you've got basic fighting energy attached, not if you're a fighting Pokemon, so it works quite nicely for Stunfisk indeed. Now, in terms of the energy here, it's quite interesting. Your attackers are basically all using fighting energy. And certainly, Fighting Dojo tells you you've got to use basic fighting energy. Yet, we actually see one copy of unit energy here. And the reason for this is extremely simple. There is a unit energy that covers both fighting and fairy, which means you can use... Alolan Ninetales. And although the main attack, 70 to the active, 30 to the bench is fine if uninspiring, the GX attack gets an automatic one-hit KO on an Ultra Beast, like Blacephalon, or indeed Buzzwall and Feromosa for free prizes. Yeah, frankly, ladies and gentlemen, it's worth having. And remember, even when you're playing one-offs, Lucario's got your back. There are then three copies of Counter Energy. If you're behind on prizes... Then Counter Energy will pay Garchomp's attack cost in one go. Just please remember that Counter Energy will pay Garchomp's attack cost, but will not allow you to do the extra damage with Fighting Dojo, because Fighting Dojo is when basic Fighting Energy is attached. Alrighty then. So that's the main part of it, but let's flick through the other trainers nice and quickly. We've got four copies of Cynthia and two copies of Lily. These are the best draw supporters in the game. Cynthia gives you a new hand of six. Lily draws until you've got six in hand, or eight if it's your first turn. They are generally what we play. They are the best draw cards. We've got two copies of Professor Round's Lecture. Gets three Pokemon with 60 HP or less. And in the early game... You're going to want your Gabites, and you're going to want your Alolan Volpixes, etc. So this is really quite handy. Two copies of Guzma. It acts as a switch, but it's mostly for pulling Pokemon active so you can KO them. And one copy of Lieutenant Surge's Strategy. If you're behind on prizes and you play this, you can then play two more supporters during the turn. And again, Lucario searches it out at the perfect time. Two copies of Fighting Dojo, like we said, and a single copy of Palpad just gets your supporters back. It's supporter card recovery. Four copies of Ultra Ball, because it's the only thing we've got that will search out everything in your deck. One copy of Choice Band, to do an extra 30 damage. Largely, we're not too reliant, because we've also got our Black Bout here, but it might come in handy. Three copies of Rare Candy, because we can search them out with Alolan Vulpix, and then we can search them out with Lucario. We're not so worried about playing the full four here, because they're easy to search. And one copy of Rescue Stretcher, which gets your Pokemon back. I love this. It weirds me out that somebody's made a really good deck of this, 
that doesn't play Miss Magius. That does surprise me. But I was convinced this Garchomp was going to be good. Now, I've been wrong before, and a lot of my wrongness generally tends to flick around with stage twos because they're just inherently inconsistent. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this just looked good. And I'm convinced that people are going to win playing this Magius. But I am also convinced that Garchomp is just a phenomenal card that's going to see a lot of play. And when this set comes out, you can expect to see me playing it as well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. I adore this deck. But I would like to know what you think about it. So please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. But please do remember the rule, ladies and gentlemen. Be nice, would you? And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wassy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash PTCG Radio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that, head on over to patreon.com slash PTCG Radio, where you can do exactly that. And please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash Wassy Plays, where we talk about games that don't have Pokemon in. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.